what is going on guys we're back here with another video coming at you today we're gonna do more bike stuff and we're getting back on the trek fuel 90. the last video i did we did the rock shocks um tk upgrade we did different handlebars grips and it had tires and the saddle as well oh and the pedals today what we're gonna get into is we're gonna start tearing it apart so we can figure out what kind of one by system we're going to go with. So if you've seen my uh, basic one by seven on the Trek Marlin, I just used a chain guide and a square taper crank set with a, with a narrow wide chain ring. And it seemed to work awesome for what it is. I've had zero issues with that setup and I've been super stoked on it. So with this, I'm kind of debating if we're going to do the same thing with this bike or if I'm going to splurge and spend a little extra money and get a legit clutch derailleur for once. But the nice thing about this bike is that the three by is bolted, so I should be able to undo the chain, drop it, and take apart all the chain rings and just have to order a narrow wide for the front. And then we can decide later on what we're doing with the rear, if at all, or just a guide. So let's tear this apart. With a quick split of a link, chains dropped, now we can focus on the crank set. Got the crank arm off with some fighting, but I figured, figured you guys might, figured you guys might like how I got this, uh, these crank arms off. So my tool for my basic kit I have only works on square taper. It uh, it doesn't seem to work on this spline setup. So what I did instead was I stuck a nine millimeter socket in there to be able to push it the rest of the way, and it worked mint. So little tip trick ghetto rigging but it got to work now on to the next side fast forwarding a little bit and I got chain rings starting to pull off so pulling those off they're just allen wrench nothing to it and the nice thing is is since this is a pretty higher end uh, uh, well for the year it's a pretty higher end 3 by. I can take this apart and then I can just get the chain ring. So all I have left is take off the third lowest sprocket, and then order some parts. Now that I got those all stripped down, ready for a new chain ring, I decided that while we're waiting for parts, I would go ahead and get into actually clean some of the bike parts. So this free hub, that's what I pulled out. So I'm gonna clean a bunch of different spots on the bike and just re-grease it all, make it sort of fresh. Skipping forward after getting everything greased up on the bike, I got all the pivots taken apart, made sure they're clean, uh, put a little bit of grease on them. Bottom bracket took it apart, made sure it was clean. Everything's looking smooth in there. So I'm happy with that, got all the main parts. And as you can see, front derailleur is taken off because I have finally made a decision on what we're doing with this. And we are gonna do a proper one by with a clutch rear derailleur, narrow wide, and all the goodies to go with it. So in preparation for those parts to get here, which I will show very soon, I'm taking apart rear derailleur, shift cables, because I got new ones. And uh, as you, like I said, I already started taking off the front derailleur. So let's get into that. like that front derailleur rear derailleur shifters cables everything is stripped off it now and now it's just a waiting game for new parts okay so after waiting a few weeks for parts we finally got them here is what I got I got a narrow wide chain ring right here it was just a cheap Amazon I think it's called a decus or decus whatever you want to call it I got cheap narrow wide. I've had good luck with the Amazon ones. Uh, that's the exact same one that I threw on my Trek Marlin hardtail. And then what I got was I went ahead and I got myself a micro shift advent clutch rear derailleur for a nine or for a nine yeah for a nine speed setup. 
And I got the Micro Shift Advent Rapid Fire shift lever as well. Because when I read up on it, turns out you need to have those two to be able to make that clutch redo really work well, supposedly. Not sure how true that is, but these are the parts I got to finish off this build here. I didn't get a different rear cassette because I wanted to see with this chain ring and being nine speed how that one felt first before I mess around with it. Before we get into installing this micro shift advent group set, uh, I'm going to go ahead and polish the frame real quick and show you what I do for that. So since the frame has some like minor little scuffs here and there, some little surface scratches, oh. It's not the end of the world, it doesn't look bad, like the frame itself is in pretty good shape. Uh, then some stuff like that, regular wear and tear. But what we're going to do is we're going to go over it with uh, some Scratch Doctor, which should take care of a lot of the scratches in the surface, and it should clean up a bit. I'm not going to make this thing 100% perfect paint, because it's never going to be perfect, but we'll clean it up a little bit. So when I do this, take my microfiber cloth, make kind of a, a rubbing pad, I guess. And I'll put a little dab no bigger than your pinky on the end and work it into your paint and just keep doing that in a small area at a time. And then you're going to want to let it sit there. And if you can kind of see there's a bit of a haze to it, let it sit there, let it dry up, and then take another microfiber that's dry with no goop on it and wipe it off. So yeah, doing the bottom down tube here, I'm going to do the top tube and the rest of the bike. Let it all harden up and then I'll wipe it clean. A little bit of elbow grease later and this thing is looking super nice again. Some scratches it didn't take out like that one right there and it cleaned up this one back here a bit but still have some scratches. Like I said wasn't going to be perfect but it just cleans it up a little bit nicer and let's be honest since it was scratched by the previous owner I don't have to feel bad if I put the first one in it. So now let's get into getting this advent set up done. I'm going to throw the rear wheel or the wheels back on, I guess, completely. And I got the trigger shifter up on top there. And I will put the rear derailleur on the chain, start running lines. After some fighting, I reused the original housings. Well, this was the original one there. That one fit perfect. This one I had to modify because the old one would come off here, kind of go down like this. But with this new advent, the way it mounts is a little bit, or quite a bit shorter, like almost half. So modified that housing, works good now. And then I had bought brand new, this super basic Bond Traeger shift cable. Uh, housing and cable kit so what I did is I modified the housing to work because of the new uh, thumb shifter from Advent or micro shift sorry uh, it came with the shifter cable so I had to use the housing but now I got it all ran right looks like it should work good just like so so now we can start messing around with this after I get the chain put back on and of course our uh our crank arms just like that chains on now I'm ready to start the daunting task of 
doing the rear derailleur and getting it all set up correctly and all that fun jazz but as I said before in other videos I am not the one to explain how to set up a derailleur so I'm gonna skip ahead here and show you guys the end result there we have it I got the micro shift derailleur shifter everything all up and running now it shifts great through the gears went through their process of getting this thing tuned up once you get it so if you have one look at what they say how to tune it worked great spent about 15 minutes getting this thing tuned up and dialed to shift through the gears and it's working awesome the only thing is that I'm probably going to be doing an update in the future and upgrading some things as I realize now I should have got a different cassette because the stock one I kind of figured this would be the issue but the stock one being that it doesn't have the same range you can't adjust your B tension to be within that that 8 to 10 millimeters or whatever it is calling for so I'll probably be ordering that it's not much though I think it's roughly 60 bucks Canadian so it's not the end of the world but it's pretty cool to see that this one buy is on here now super happy with it chain ring seems to be clearing right everything shifting nice all we have left to do is get the control set up 100% where I want them put the grips back on then that's pretty much it Okay, so after getting my controls put back on, got the handlebars put, or not handlebars, got the grips put back on, got everything set up the way I wanted it to, that'd be pretty comfortable. With all that being done, I took it out for a test ride in the snow, up and down the street, and thing works mint. Other than just needing to upgrade to a better, higher range cassette, like I had said, and stop being a cheap Mennonite, that would help, but works phenomenal going up and down the street shifts smooth everything shifted really nice I'm pretty amazed this is the first first clutch derailleur I've ever had and I have to admit it's totally worth totally worth the money like just amazing how much quieter it is and how much better quality it is but but yeah anyways that is going to be the end of this video thanks for watching guys and have a great day